it's another project for me to repair, refurbish and make work as good as we can. What is it? Well, it's a cardboard box, that's right, in this episode we are going to restore this box back to pristine condition and stick it on eBay and see what it might be worth. So let's get on with that now. Yes, hello my cardboard box chums, how are you today? Yes, we have a very nice resi recyclable cardboard box here today with possibly a date code perhaps, I don't think it's... Uh, no, that can't be a date code, this box isn't from 2014 it would be far more cleaner if it wasn't. It's a shame that all of this tape's gone on it. I'm going to have to steam all this off because if you steam it off carefully enough you can remove it all without ripping the top layer of the box. We have several generations of parcel tape on this particular box. Ah, and it seems that someone's filled it with rubbish. Isn't very kind. What have we got? We have some lovely polystyrene. Animals like that because they can make a nest out of it. We have some uh, Elulio's packaging. That's always having. Oh! There's a, a thing in here. What the heck's this? This is a Hoover. Hoover? What does anyone want a Hoover for? Everyone knows that Dyson is how you clean your... Oh God, what they, why did they put this in there? God, let's put that over there. Anything else in this box? No. Marvellous. So the box has been protected. That, this must have just been in here to weigh it down perhaps and stop it from crumpling up. So let me move all this out of the way and we shall have a close look at this box. Yes, of course I am joking, I have not taken, well, I have taken leave of my sentences, but not any more than usual. Yes, we have here a Hoover, another project from Mr. Stewart at Manchester Vax. This is one that he wants in his museum, so what do we have? Well, we'll start with the bag first, because it is in a bit of a state. I have no idea if that is staining or fading at this exact moment in time. So we need to look at that. It's also quite mouldy as well, which is always lovely to see. Oh God, this spring has been heavily mucked around with. I don't think there's much saving that. I do have a spare spring though, so it might be alright. It's also got the little fabric in it that stops it from really pulling itself down. So that's good. Oh, it does come off, that's not bad. This is going to need a bit of a repaint. How disgusting is it? Not terribly. That is okay. <sighs> Smells a bit vintage. I've no idea where we got it from. I'll be honest, he likes to buy random stuff, does ask do. And hope that they come out all right in the end. This is the bag flange. That will need a repaint as well. But solid, complete and all there, so that's not good. Not the original bag it would have had, but certainly a very fine replacement indeed. Well, as you can see, we shall not be firing it up straight away because we need to get a cable. I hope that that cable was like that initially. I, am, I, I do need to put another cable on it. I have been asked that already. So, no, Stuart, he wouldn't have cut an all right cable because that is the original cable, the original ribbed brown rubber cable, which isn't too bad. The way to check these is to squeeze it. And as you can see, it's starting to go as a collection piece 
you know, it's okay, you get away with it. If you were you know, properly using it, then nah, possibly not. Handle bail is fairly tatty. This is the remains of the spring. <laughs> there, look, poking out the side like a tetanus infection. It's what covers the cable as it goes to the motor. But we have a very nice headlight lens with its gold decals. The Hoover logo. The paintwork. Now, obviously, we have discussed this, and he wasn't sure if it would have warranted a full repaint or not. And I don't think, I think we might get away with it. All depends on how well it cleans up. Really, because the problem with this is you've got to use Hammerite to paint it. And um, I'm not like, we might give it a go. It's the one time of the year, really. It's belting down with rain and quite cold today. Filming this in May. Ooh. Look, we have lots of vintage fluff beneath the bumper. Right, let's come down and we shall have a close look at the underside. Oh, I forgot I did that. Where we can see that it is a Model 612. Cannot date it because you need the serial number run for the serial number itself. So all I can do is show you it and basically I might have found out by the after video. I don't know. Oh, one of the things I have just seen is that. That's a bit of a shame. But they're both quite worn and baggy. The rear wheels aren't. They, they, the rear wheels are destroyed as well. Let's see if I can get some new. A wheel set for it. If not, a Hoover Senior, like newer Senior set, should fit it okay. Certainly these front wheels will. Back ones might be alright. If I could just sleeve the inners to stop them from being so wobbly. We might be alright, obviously, to adjust the, heart, the carpet thickness. On this, you simply remove that lever, and that makes this go into different places. You could probably hack it as well by, by packing it down. It's also how you insert the tools. There's an arm there, when you push that up, that comes back, and I'm not putting my fingers in because it will hurt like heck. That's where the tool holder goes. Oh. We can remove the base plate, which is in need of a reseal by the oh, well, I, by the looks of it, and we can see the brush roller in all of its glory. As you can see, the belt is comically knackered. Uh, lift this out. The belt is nah, screwed. Genuine Hoover belt, though. You probably won't see that, but there is writing on it. Put your fingers there so it focuses. There is writing on it. This is a genuine Hoover belt, but one that is fit for the bin. The motor is okay. The shed itself isn't too bad either. In fact, that'll, that'll, most of the... I say corrosion, but most of it's rubbing straight off, so that's not too bad either. Come on, we might have a... Little gem underneath all of this crap. Brush roll, however. <laughs> ah, it's going to need liquor paint. Luckily, though, oh, look at those brush strips. They are very good indeed, so that will come out very well with a little lick of black. We'll put the belt back on for now. Can't hurt, can it? And I haven't got any others on me. To do anything better so oh, yeah we shall see right we'll pop that there and that's about all I can really show you because you might have noticed the lack of handle that's because it's been powder coated and I'll be honest, and I did agree with this, not bothered to send it to me because there's not much point in shipping it all the way over to me just to, 
you know, film a video on and then ship it all the way back. So all I've got is this, which is fine. I'll probably have a random senior handle somewhere that will do the job for us of giving it an after demo when we're done. And then obviously we can look at the video from Manchester Vax themselves when it is back home. I think I have released the hood. So we can see inside. Now this is very interesting, although I'll be buggered if I'm going to do it. Um, we might have a go. All those Hoover logos look have individually crimped into place. They do come off, look. Whoa. How gentle do we have to be with those? Look, there's a H. It's going to make polishing this a heck of a lot easier, although that goes straight back on there for now. I'll probably wash it with them on. Purely because they'd be straight down the sink. <laughs> straight down the sink completely. But everything else is very good. Obviously this baker light um, is cracked. Look at that, there is some damage in that corner. It's not too bad. I shall be giving that a very good coat of glue to stop it from getting any worse. And here we have what's basically a bog standard Hoover Senior motor. Nothing as different on this, although a big old suppressor which will need to come out we have a light bulb which is a what have we got a KS light bulb I shall send a picture of that to somebody I know who is to light bulbs what we are to vacuum cleaners and see what he makes of it yeah, what we really should do, I suppose, is lob a random cable on and see if it even works. I've got one somewhere. Hang on. Here we go. The Shen of the Electrolux Cyclone Power that I've had in this flipping room for months has yielded its cable. So we can go ahead and work out which wire is which. Now up here, they are... Uh, here you go. Here's the red. Ah, basically red to red, black to black. That's very easy. So this is the live. So we shall undo this screw. And take out, sadly, this is the original cable because I can see the crimps on it. Always a shame when we have to do this, but obviously there is no other way around it. This won't be its final cable either. I think I'm being sent a nice black cable. So... All is not completely lost. Then we need to pull this spring out of here. Oh, we've lost a little washer. You can stay there. Now I need to remember. Ah, yes. We need to undo this screw. There is a screw here. There you go. You can see it there. That holds the cable clamp into place. And we can withdraw that because that's what that's what clamps the cable in. Look, it's another. Oh, you're zoomed in. I forgot. Big, massive chunk of vintage dust there. Now, hopefully, I can. I really. I don't think I've got to remove everything. Have I? What we will do is we shall take this large spring off. That works all of the return mechanism. There we go, that's a little bit easier. So now I can roll it back and it flipping stays there. I'm hoping I don't have to go to all the massive hassle of taking all of the bale off just to get it working. There is a clip here that holds the cable in place so we'll take that off oh, I think I'm gonna have to oh I don't want to take the bail out why 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 how do you want to get this inner spring back here I just want to get the ruddy cable on 
they have my tools on me. Ah! Why is life so hard? I've been in the toolbox. I wasn't fully expecting this. God. I'll just put it out. No. Oh, I've knackered that. Although, oh, yeah, right. Oh, I've, I've already damaged it. But it was already damaged anyway. And um, I've got a spare from another cleaner. So all of that is effectively scrapped now. <laughs> Whoops. That's fine. And that's not the end of the world. In fact, to be honest, probably they need it for this machine. So we'll put that in the bin. The top was completely ruined anyway, so I'm a little bit annoyed, but not especially upset about that. But hopefully now I can feed this cable through. Yeah, I think this is going to be a lot easier to wire up with the handle belt off somehow. All right, let's try this a different way. Let's pull this bit here. And then feed it. There we go. Back through. Marvellous. Right, I've got to get this little washer out. To be fair, what I'm going to do now is stop, I'll wire this up, because you can't be bothered to see that, and we'll see if it runs. There we go, all wired up. I'll have to have a bit of a thought that I don't actually know if this plug has a fuse in it. It's been around for so long, we might have stolen it. No, we haven't. I'm going to put this hood way out of the way so I don't step on it. That would be catastrophic. And I don't know if it's turned on or not. It would appear maybe not. Ooh. We don't have life. Runs and the bulb works as well, but oh, I can smell the belt. We're going to put the cover back on because I don't want to flip it over without the hood on, and I also don't want to lose the hood screws. So we shall pop those back in and leave it upside down and have a laugh and see if the brush roll actually turned. I don't think I've got a belt here with me that will work with this, sadly. I wasn't a hundred... I'll get in. I wasn't a hundred percent expecting to be doing this today, I'll be honest. I don't beg a belt, although obviously that's game more for the after -like. Screw this, hang on. There we go had to line it up and now wow doesn't that belt work well let's take it off the motor ow Ooh. and see how the motor itself sounds That's not too bad, a bit dry, but that's not too bad at all. I'm just searching for a belt. I don't think I have one. Yep, no, I don't have one on me, but we know it runs. In fact, actually, you know, we're going to leave that belt off because that's it is slowing the motor down. 
And obviously I don't think that brush is going to be much cop anyway. But... It most certainly clamps itself down to the carpet. Put the bag on for a bit of a laugh and see how it inflates it. So despite the old girl not really being lovely, gosh that's got some airflow to it, that's picking up this heavy carpet. Marvellous, right. Job done, we know it works, we know all is good. It is now time for me to spend a couple of weeks giving it a good seeing to, a good going over. And the next time you see it, it should be working like the day it left Perivale. We shall see. But for now, for this video, thank you very much for watching, and I and this Hoover shall see you soon. Bye bye.